Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Oakland A's and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Athletics is Matt Keogh, whose record is 9-15 with a 5.30 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Milt Wilcox whose record is 10-4 and four with a 4.16 ERA. And if you take a look at the standings here, after our loss yesterday in the first game of the series against the last place A's, we are nine games back with 17 games to go. Uh, the Boston and uh, Toronto have been eliminated. Uh, also Seattle. So we are, um, we're in trouble. And... Although we're not mathematically eliminated, in a sense, our season is pretty much over. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to go with some of the future prospects for Detroit. And uh, I'll show you when we get to the lineup here momentarily. Um, as always, I appreciate everyone who's followed along. If you've uh, been here for the first 144 games, I truly appreciate the fact that you've... Uh, donated your time to this cause and um, we're down the home stretch here and maybe we're out of it but we're gonna play it out that's what we do and hopefully we can get some stats padded and um, maybe get some uh, idea what the prospects will be like for the 1981 season here's our bullpen basically the same um, we lost Capizello we moved Dave Rucker into that position and here's our lineup for today against the righty Matt Keogh. Um, we got Gibby in left field, batting second. We got uh, Marty Castillo in there. Ed Putman's going to play first. Dan Gonzalez is the DH. And you can see some other uh, changes with um, uh, Armis in center field and Mark Wagner playing short. So why not? I mean, at this point, we've got nothing to lose. Mix it up a bit, and let's see how it plays out. So uh, here's the lineup for the A's. Over here on the right side, you'll see the 1980 Tops card that represents that player. Batting leadoff and playing shortstop is Tony Phillips. Batting second and at first base today is Orlan Orlando Gonzalez. Batting third and in center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting cleanup and at third base is Wayne Gross. Batting fifth and catching is Mike Heath. Batting sixth and in DHing today is Royal Stillman. Batting seventh and in right field is Mike Davis. Batting eighth and at second base is Shooty Rabbit. And batting ninth in the left field is Derek Bryant. On the mound for Detroit is Milt Wilcox. He's been on 10 wins for a while now. 25th start overall, 10 and 4, 4.16 ERA. Opponents are batting 274 against him, no complete games. He's been steady for us. Um, he missed a month of the season due to injury and uh, let's see if we can get him a win today get back on the right track down the final stretch here here's Tony Phillips leading off and Phillips who hit a home run to lead off the game yesterday flies out to center field Armis makes the catch there's one down for Orlando Gonzalez batting 299 versus righties he hits a line drive to Wagner at short there's two down. And here's Ricky Henderson in an unfam unfamiliar uh, batting spot. He is in the third spot today and playing center field. Ground ball to short. And I'm assuming they threw him out. Or is there an error? Game is thinking about it. Thinking it over. And it's a third out, which is exactly what we wanted. One, two, three inning with a little bit of a delay. And we go to the bottom of the first. Here's the Tigers lineup. 
Batting leadoff and playing second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker with a 100 runs on the season. Batting second and playing left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting third and at third base is Marty Castillo. Batting cleanup and in right field is Gary Hancock. Batting fifth and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting sixth and at first base is Ed Putman. Batting seventh and in center field is Tony Armis. Batting eighth and DHing is Dan Gonzalez. And batting ninth and in at shortstop is Mark Wagner. Here's Matt Keough. First time we've seen him all year. 31st start in the year, 9-15. In 1979, he was 2-17. and 17. So a 20 and 50 overall record, almost through 100 starts. It's not so good. ERA is a 530, 218 hits and 193 innings pitched, 92 walks and 98 strikeouts. Opponents are betting 275, and somehow he's got five complete games. Amazing. Here's Sweet Lou betting leadoff here in the bottom of the first, and he walks. So runner on first, we're going to let Kirk Gibson swing away here. Back-to-back -back starts for Gibson. He hits it right back to Keo. And the only play is at first base as Whitaker takes second. Runner in scoring position for Marty Castillo at third base today. He's also a catcher. Can play a little first base. And he hits a ground ball right over the bag at second. And the only play is to first, so... Two down, and here's Gary Hancock, our best hitter. I couldn't take him out today. We're going to let him swing away. And he repays us with a base hit to right field. Whitaker does score. Hey, we have an early 1-0 lead. Two down now with Parrish up. And he hits a ground ball to short. Phillips has it for the third out. We go to the top of the second, 1-0 Detroit. Wayne Gross leads off. And Gross hits a blooper into left center field. Gibson makes the catch, one down. Next up is Mike Heath, future Detroit Tiger. Heath hits a ground ball right to third. Castillo makes the play. It's two down. And here's Royal Stillman, who had two home runs and a double in yesterday's game. And he hits it into right center field. And it's caught for the third out. So another 1-2-3 inning for Wilcox. We go to the bottom of the second. 1-0 Detroit. Ed Putman leads off. He had a home run in yesterday's game. And he hits it pretty deep into left center field. Caught for the first out. And also getting his first home run as a Detroit Tiger in yesterday's game. Too little, too late was Tony Armis, who hits a weak ground ball to short. Phillips makes the play for the second out. Next up is Dan Gonzalez, whose eyebrows matches go or is uh, Fu Manchu, and he gets a base hit to right field. That's his first hit on the season. We're not going to go for two. We're up one. He's already two down. We're going to let Wagner swing away, batting 342 versus righties. And Wagner takes a walk. So runners at first and second, two down for Sweet Lou. Lou has been one of the Tigers who've been really struggling down the stretch. And he flies out to right field here for the third out. We go to the top of the third. Mike Davis leading off. And a base hit for Davis to right field. That's the first hit for the A's. Runner at first base. Here's Shooty Babbitt. We're going to bring in the third base because uh, Babbitt does have an above average bunting rating. And he hits it right to Castillo, who turns two. So 
I didn't think that would happen, but I'll take the uh, double play. Pat myself on the back for Derek Bryant with two down. Wilcox walks him. So a little bit of speed on base now for the leadoff hitter, who also walks a lot. And on a very <laughs> slow knuckle curve, 68 miles per hour. You can't even be in the fast lane with 68 miles an hour. So now there's a runner in scoring position. We've got to pull uh, the outfield in. And Phillips hits it deep to center field. Whoa, caught on the warning track by Tony Armis. Third out, we go to the bottom of the third. Kirk Gibson leading off the inning. And Keo walks him, third walk so far. And uh, we're going to let Castillo swing away. Definitely a double play opportunity here. As Castillo pops it up on the infield, just over the bag at second. Oh, and it's dropped by Phillips. And runners on first and second. Air on Phillips could be costly with Gary Hancock coming up. Batting clean up. He has the most home runs on the Tigers with 19. And he also pops it up, this time on the second base side. Uh, and it's caught for the first out. So one down. Lance Parrish. Big wheel. Big wheel hits a ground ball right to short. That should be two. Oh, it's a second error by Tony Phillips. Tony Phillips, a utility man. I mean, he played all over the infield and outfield in his career. Um, so maybe he's not at his regular position. He's listed as a shortstop. Um, we're going to hit sacrifice fly as an option here. I prefer a base hit. I do not want a double play. Oh, and he pops it straight up. And the second baseman has it. The catch made by Shooty Babbitt. So bases loaded for Tony Armis. This would be a good time for a second home run. And he gets walked. Keo walks in a run. Four walks through three innings. He's at 67 pitches. And uh, Dan Gonzalez has a chance here to uh, put some serious distance. Oh, there it is down the right field side. All the way to the wall. And all three runs score. A bases clearing double for Dan Gonzalez, and it's five to nothing. Tigers with a four spot on the board. We needed this game bad. Although I don't want to count my chickens because it's only the fourth inning as Wagner grounds out to third. We go to the top of the fourth. Orlando Gonzalez leading off. And the first baseman hits a ground ball to short. Wagner makes the play. One down. Here's uh, Ricky Henderson. How many stolen bases does he have? 58 stolen bases out of 70 opportunities. So it's almost a sure thing if he gets on base. Oh, there we go. Base hit. Just past uh, Whitaker's glove. And here's a chance for... Henderson to steal on the big wheel. That's Parrish. That will be necessary as Wilcox drills Wayne Gross right in the knee. We're going to guard the lines for Mike Heath. Try to turn two here. A couple slow base runners. There's a Taylor made double play right at Whitaker, and that is two. As we go to the bottom of the fourth, 5 0 Detroit. Wilcox looking pretty strong. Sweet Lou leads off with a base hit up the middle. That's the fourth hit for Detroit. It brings up Kurt Gibby, the Gibster. Oh, he strikes out swinging. We're up 5-0. I would normally steal in this situation, but with five runs, that's probably porting it on a little early. Oh, back-to-back -back strikeouts, though. And now I feel compelled to steal, but we're going to let uh, Hancock swing away. Oh, that was a good call. As Hancock drills it into left center field. And that is the 20th home run 
for Detroit, uh, for, I'm sorry, for uh, Hancock. And I didn't think any Detroit Tiger would get to 20 home runs, but uh, Hancock is the first to do it. As the Tigers have a 7 nothing lead with Lance Parrish up and another base hit. This one the opposite way for Parrish. Six hits overall now for Detroit. Next up is Ed Put Putman. Put Putman, as I was trying to spit it out there. And it falls in for a base hit. I th thought that was going to be caught by Henderson, who does have a really weak arm in center. Again, he's a, he's a left fielder, um, but uh, I don't know why he's in center field in this game. Anyway, that was the last batter for Keo, who was over 100 pitches, and he didn't make it through four as Jim Corsi comes in, who is a 19-year-old rookie. His second game on the season, he's never been above a ball. So he is a September call-up. And as you can see here, he is not ready for prime time. So let's pour it on as uh, Tony Armis steps in. And he rips it to left. Caught by the left fielder, Derek Bryant. And that ends the inning. We go to the top of the fifth, 7 nothing Detroit. Royal Stillman, who I referred to as Rumple Stillskin yesterday, pops it up on the infield. Marty Castillo has it for the first out, one down. Mike Davis, one for one today. Hits a ground ball to short. Wagner throws him out. Two down. Next up is Shooty Babbitt. Awesome nickname. Gets a right uh, field. Gets a hit to right field. And uh, he's got some speed. Down seven runs. I don't think it's a good idea to run. Doesn't matter. His number nine hitter, Derek Bryant, gets a base hit to right field. And it is the fifth inning, which is where Milt Wilcox typically falls apart. We're up seven, so I feel like we can just play it straight away. And there's an infield hit. A's had three infield hits in yesterday's game. As Phillips drives, it, drives in the first run for Oakland. And the score is 7-1. to one. We're going to pull the outfield in for Orlando Gonzalez. He's got no power, but he makes good contact, and he does walk a lot. And he bloops it into right center field, and it falls in, even though everyone is playing in. And it's 7-2. to two. Like I said... Milt Wilcox usually struggles in this inning. So Ricky Henderson is up. Two down. And Henderson grounds it right back to Wilcox, and that's the third out. So the A's do get two runs on the board. They're still down by five. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Dan Gonzalez leads off the inning. Two for four on the season. And he pops it up to short. Phillips makes the catch. He has two errors on the day. Phillips does. So every time we, we hit it to him, I feel like there's a chance. As Wagner bloops it into left center field, it falls in for a hit. And, wow, he's got a terrible arm as well. Um, gosh, I feel like every time we go for it and don't get it, it comes back to haunt us, so we're going to leave him at first. We're going to let Sweet Lou swing away, hit and run style. Base hit to center field. Wagner takes third. Oh, no, not, not a given. We're going to let him try, and Wagner is safe at third. So first and third now for Gibson. And uh, Gibby batting 133 only on the season. We're going to let him swing away. Oh, he gets an infield hit. So we get a revenge on the uh, infield hit by Gibby to Phillips at short. It's an RBI. It'll look the same in the scorebook. It's 8-2 to two Detroit. First and second for Marty Castillo. Gets a base into left field, and we are taking advantage of Jim Corsi. Absolutely going to send Whitaker home. And he is safe at the plate. An RBI single for Castillo. Gibson takes second, and it's 9-2. to two. 
Jim Corsi, only 18 pitches, but he's given up two runs, four hits. Hancock hits a ground ball to short. That might be the end. Yeah, there's a double play. We go to the sixth inning. We're going to switch over to the end game stats. And uh, player of the game so far, I don't know. We have uh, Hancock two for four with a, a home run. But Dan Gonzalez is two for three with three RBIs. So I'm going to give it to the rookie, Gonzalez. Wilcox at 62 pitches here in the top of the sixth. Wayne Gross hits a ground ball to second. There's one out. So one down for catcher Mike Heath. Heath hits it right back to Wilcox, who tosses him out at first. Two down. Next up is Royal Stillman, 0 for 2 on the day. Whoa, there's a base hit to right field, maybe two. There you go, a double for Stillman. So Stillman has been a tough out. Um, and he's batting over 350 on the season and just limited duty. As Davis flies out to left field and we go to the bottom of the sixth. So leading off the inning is uh, Big Wheel Lance Parrish. One for three on the day, and he walks. Parrish on first. Ed Putman is up next. And Putman hits it into left center field. There's the first out. Next up is Armis. So for two of the day, he did have an RBI earlier in the year. And wow, there is his second home run. Back-to-back -back games for Armis, two-run shot, and it's 11-2. We've put up, uh, what is that, 10 runs in four innings. And there's only one down for Dan Gonzalez, two for three with three RBIs, and he walks. So that's going to be it for Corsi. As we go to the four-eyed Ernie Camacho. I could say that because uh, I wear glasses. And so, Ernie Camacho, 40th game on the year, 3-1, 575 ERA as a rookie, 25-year-old rookie. Probably most uh, known for being the closer in Cleveland for a couple years. More walks than strikeouts, batting 280 against him. Eight saves out of 11 opportunities. So he had a chance to close here, too. But I can't imagine he's in the closer's role coming in in the sixth inning in a game where they're down by nine. As Camacho throws a wild pitch, Gonzalez takes second. So an opportunity here for Wagner to drive in a run. But he hits it to the one place you can't. And that's third base. So Gonzalez has to hold. That's two down for Sweet Lou. Two for three with a walk today. And he grounds out to second. And we go to the seventh. Uh, Wilcox only at 69 pitches, which is nice, as uh, Shooty Babbitt steps in. Babbitt hits a fly ball to right field. Caught by Hancock for the first out, so one down. Derek Bryant is up next. Ground ball to Whitaker. That's two down. Wilcox in control, other than the fifth inning. As Phillips hits it right back to Wilcox. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. 11-2 Detroit. Gibby will lead off the inning. One for three today. He's got a ribby. Ground ball to short. Phillips makes the play. One down. Here's Marty Castillo. One for four with a ribby himself. He strikes out swinging. First K for Camacho. That will leave it up to Gary Hancock. Hits a ground ball right to the first baseman, Gonzalez. And we go to the eighth. 11-2 to Detroit. We're keeping Wilcox in there. Has a chance at maybe a complete game if things fall just right. Oh, base hit to right field for Orlando Gonzalez. That's not the way you want to start it with uh, the speedy Ricky Henderson up next. And he flips it to right. That should be the first out. 
caught by Hancock for the first out. Chance for a double play with Wayne Gross. And there we go. Ground ball to second. Oh, they can only get the lead runner as Gross beats it out at first. So two down for Mike Heath. Over three on the day. Oh, there's a home run to left field. <laughs> it's 11 to four. Just like that, I believe that is Heath's first home run of the year. He's only batting 136. Three for 22 on the year. But Hancock's, I mean, I'm sorry, Hancock. Wilcox is only at 90 pitches, so he has a chance to still close it out as Royal Stillman hits a lazy fly ball to center. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. Lance Parrish leads off the inning. And there is a ground ball to short. One down. As we go back to the in-game stats. Every Tiger has a hit today. And really every A's player does, but the cleanup hitter. Ed Putman is up next. And there's a hit into the gap all the way to the wall. Into center field. And that's a double for Putman. Two for five on the day. One down runner in scoring position for Tony Armis. It's a ground ball right to short. Phillips has it for the second out. And that will leave it up to Dan Gonzalez. It's a blooper into right center field. And it falls in for a hit. Run scores. Why not? We're up a bunch of runs. Let's give him a chance to get a double. Oh, he's out, thrown out by Ricky. And the Tigers put the 12th run on the board. Four RBIs now as Gonzalez is three for four. He has not hit a home run today, but he's probably the player of the game. Most hits, most RBIs. So we're going to give Wilcox a chance to close out the game for his first complete game of the year. But we're going to keep him on a short leash. Oh, now he's tired. As Davis hits a ground ball to first. Plays made by Putman. 96 pitches. Wilcox is fighting fatigue as uh, Babbitt hits a line drive to left. And the A's are down to their final out. Chance for Wilcox to get a complete game. And he drills Bryant in the uh, elbow. He's had 99 pitches. He could have had a Greg Maddox game there, but uh, unfortunately... He hits uh, Bryant. Phillips hits a ground ball to short. And that is the game. Complete game for Wilcox. 12-4. to four. Detroit wins. That's an important game to win. As uh, we're waiting for the game to load up. We're going to be where are we at here with the standings. As it's really taking its sweet time thinking about it. So we do gain a game back. We're eight games back. For what it's worth. We'll take it. You know, we'll take any opportunity this at this point of the year to keep the door open. So let's take a look at transactions. Nothing new to report. We'll pull up the box score. We'll get out of here. A good win for Detroit, one we desperately needed. 12 to 4. And I think the player of the game has to be Dan Gonzalez, right? I mean, you get four RBIs. And you lead the team in hits that day. Um, and he has competition. But we're going to give it to Dan Gonzalez, the DH, today. Wilcox gets his 11th win, 11-4. 11 complete game with no strikeouts. How often does that happen? Uh, I don't know, but not very often. Matt Keogh takes a loss, 9-16. Two errors by Tony Phillips. Armist was his 13th. Hancock with his 20th. Mike Heath. Puts his first on the board. And that's going to be it here from Tiger Stadium. We'll be back tomorrow with the third and final game of the series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.